Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today we're about a 30 to 40 minute drive out of Pattaya city. We are here in Chonburi province and I'm bringing you here today to check out a little hidden gem here in Chonburi. We are here at the Chonburi Grand Canyon. Look at it, it is beautiful. The Grand Canyon Chambury, located around a 40 minute drive from Pattaya City, it makes a wonderful day out for sightseeing and photo opportunities and it's a popular spot for Thai visitors which becomes very busy at the weekend. Upon your arrival you'll be able to enjoy the scenic views overlooking the canyon, once a functioning quarry with a reservoir at the bottom. Following the trail around the hillside, you'll come to several different viewpoints offering beautiful views. But be very careful on your feet, as at these points there are no safety rails. Another popular viewpoint is the Snow Mountain, a hill actually made up from pebbles as white as snow. It makes an interesting photo opportunity. with free entrance and a parking fee of only 20 baht. The Grand Canyon Chonburi makes a great day of sightseeing and exploring for the whole family. Fabulous 103 FM with crew fun at Thai time. Good morning. Sabadika. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, what are we going to learn today? And I believe there are a lot of people likes to watch the soccer game. Yeah. Pom shop do bon. Bon. Bon is a game. soccer. Yeah. So, oh, is it? Yeah, bon is actually you can say bon is the ball. Yeah. But we also say Football. bon. Yeah. Instead of football, we said bon. Okay. Mm. Pom chop. Do bon. Yes. I like watching football. Yes. That's a cool one. Yeah, nice one, easy one. Pom chop do bon. Yes. Thai time on Fabulous 103. His Majesty the King has appointed new cabinet ministers as nominated by Prime Minister Prayut. The list published in the Royal Gazette sees General Prayut remain as Prime Minister along with 36 new cabinet members. Foreigners here in Thailand using nominee shareholders to operate a company face a new crackdown as the DSI is developing software that will analyse en masse companies operating businesses, flagging those with ties who appear to be signature-only shareholders. Described as an economic crime, the DSI sees it as a loophole, often used for illegal business and seeing companies suddenly disappear and go under. Dengue fever is at its worst for years in Asia. Thailand too is seeing huge increases in the mosquito-borne disease. Over 40,000 reported cases here in Thailand, a 60% increase on last year. And anyone who thinks they have the disease should seek medical help. There isn't a quick fix, but medical advice will see you through. Meanwhile, it's best to spray, keep your legs covered, and keep rooms clean while traveling. 
Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, it's been a day of change following a crash at Bally High that saw a Middle Eastern man on a big bike collide with Thai students on a scooter. The tourist admitted speeding and driving erratically. The one o'clock in the morning crash saw medics rushing those youngsters to hospital. But there's more too. Pattaya's police chief has made a statement regarding motorbike rentals to foreigners. It appears that logic has finally been applied and any rental company that rents to people without a bike license face fines and possible confiscation. Riders too face fines and there will be road checks. To date, bike renters simply took your money and you rode away. That's illegal unless you have proof of a bike license in your home country or a Thai bike license. All too often, crashes result in injuries and worse. And it's then that we see that even the tourists who do have medical insurance see that void as they're acting illegally. Travel insurance works, but only if you're within the law if an accident happens. Fabulous 103 has been running an advisory for months now, warning of the consequences. Now, for residents, having a bike license is truly a must. It's an easy test. And to register, you simply need proof of insurance, a medical certificate from a qualified doctor saying that you're healthy enough to ride, and if you have a non thai bike license shown on your international license, that's all you need. If you don't have that, then the bike riding test is very easy. There's no need to use agents, you don't need to pay thousands of baht, so the total cost to be legal may be 500 baht, and a morning at the DVLC. We might sound a bit blunt this morning, but years of reporting on deaths and injuries, often on powerful bikes rented to tourists, has been a concern that's been unaddressed for too long. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 32, dropping down to 30, and an overcast day, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand, and of course, Patty, the city of fun. Things the British Embassy will never tell you. Part 1. Renting a bike is the nuts. It just is. And feeling that wind in your face as you fly through the roads on a big bike is even better. The freedom of the road is yours for the taking. And there are plenty of rental companies that won't ask to see a bike license from your home country. Every year, the British consular teams work with hundreds of Brits who have bike accidents here. Some survive, some don't. Not having a license for the bike you rent can and will void all insurance cover, including your medical cover. Nothing worse than having the consular team calling your family and asking them to help you pay the hospital bills. Riding a bike is fun. Plan ahead, just make sure you have a bike license before renting. This advisory is neither sponsored nor endorsed by the British Embassy. No animals were harmed during production. It doesn't contain nuts and is suitable for vegans too. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Andy Barwell at the BBC Sports Centre. Manchester United boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has defended his midfielder Paul Pogba after recent media criticism questioned his commitment to the club. United are on a pre-season tour in Australia, but it's been overshadowed by media reports of Pogba being unhappy and wanting a move away. Not true, according to Solskjaer. As far as I'm aware, and up till now, we don't have any bids for our, any of our players. We are Man United, we don't have to sell players. But it's an agenda against Paul. He's, he's a top, top bloke. He's a great, great professional. He's never been any problems. He's got a heart of gold. And Jesse and, for example, Jesse and Paul yesterday walking around and it's been pro, pro, uh, portrayed as it's a fight between the two boys. That's. No, nothing, no problems between uh, the boys at all. So, and they're all professional. Pre-season been very, very good so far. Turkish side Fenerbahce have said that they can't afford to sign Arsenal star Mesut Özil. Özil is the Gunners' highest-paid player, having signed a four hundred and thirty-one thousand US dollar a week contract back in two thousand and eighteen. 
Striker Divock Origi signed a new long-term contract with Liverpool. The Belgium international scored twice against Barcelona in last season's Champions League semi-final before sealing Liverpool's 2-0 win over Tottenham in the final itself. Everton midfielder Adrissa Gay scored the only goal of the game to send Senegal through to the semi-finals at the Africa Cup of Nations. And in Frank Lampard's first match in charge of Chelsea, they conceded in the 89th minute in a 1-1 draw at the Irish side Bohemians in a pre-season friendly. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hey, trouble, trouble and strife. Hey, sorrow, won't you be my wife? Hello, Jeff Carr today at the world famous Pattaya Floating Market and today I'm going to show you around. I've not been here for about six years, so um, I'm going to see what's changed and if it's gone any better. Hi, hey, love. Can I have a ticket, please? Ticket. For one person. 200 baht. Yeah. Yep. Good one. Okay, then I've got my tickets and we're going through here now. Morning. Morning. Thank you, sir. Okay. Salute. That's it. Okay, Captain. Thank you. Right, we're in. Who's this bird here? All right, love. Right, here's the lads getting ready now in the boats. Ready to sail you around. You can get on one of them boats and sail around the uh, floating market if you want. Oh, yeah, look at him here. Look at him here. Hey, he's good, isn't he? I'll come back and see him in a bit. This lady here is doing kebabs on the hot coals there. They'll sail around later. And then got the big stew going there. Look at that, with all them mushrooms in and lemongrass. Beautiful, aloe. Wow, look at that. Look at them, what are them giant snails? There you go. And then we got uh, somebody doing things with eggs in that here. Oh, a different variety of them like macaroon things. Wow. So you get lots of food here pancakes, drinks. Oh, look at it. Pig's noses and pig's trotters and chicken's feet. So we're having a good day already, aren't we? It's looking great, this. And then people are just coming over the bridges. What it is, it's like loads of shops and it's all like floating on the water, right? And then there's bridges over to different shops and things. And then look at this here, you've got all these umbrellas here, right? And then look at the shadow they're casting on the water. How good's that? I've never seen that one before. What's she on about her? Anyway, right, let's carry on. And here we've got the fried squid and a nice little invention there. Just some light little plastic bags flying around, keep the flies off. Good, eh? Good one. It's gone a bit bigger than last time I was here. Um, and I believe there's a magic show here now and a monkey show. But uh, I don't know where that is yet because obviously your guess is as good as mine. Um, we'll just keep looking and exploring. Part two of this episode of Patty and Mail tomorrow, right here on Fabulous Patia TV. You look very nice anyway. What are you doing tonight? You get your food off your boats and then you can just sit here on the floor. Can you see me? Can you see me now? Yeah. You okay? Oh no. <laughs> You're not okay? Of course you are. Keep smiling. Hey, sorrow, won't you be my Fabulous 103 and uh, Blurred Lines, Robin Thicke. So, are you ready? I'm oh, nervous. Yeah. <laughs> what are you nervous for? Why are you, why are you nervous? I don't know. I, I think he might have cheated. I haven't hey, cheated. How can I cheat? I, I saw him hovering around the screen. <laughs> yeah, so, and he knows where to your, look. That's your insurance coverage, isn't it? Because you're going to lose. <laughs> just so in case I lose, then that's my excuse, yeah. I've got to do a promotion. Okay. I promised I would do a promotion if oh, I did this. Oh, what thing. now? No, but a competition on. at the loft. 
Oh, okay. I'll just explain to you briefly. Really, so you understand you've, it. You've already entered and won, by the way. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. Uh, weekend, the weekend before last, um, the owner's husband uh, disappeared for a couple of days mm -hmm. and it was discovered by the owner's wife, the owner. She discovered him on the grass uh, Sunday morning or Monday morning because he didn't actually make it indoors. He was on the grass being licked by the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and as a result... <laughs> Sounds like a good weekend. <laughs> so she wasn't particularly impressed. And uh, on Sunday, this Sunday gone by, he said, I've got no clean clothes, ain't it? Because he comes from Essex, you know. I ain't got no clean clothes. And she said, yeah, you have. You got that shirt I bought you. <laughs> and so he wore this Hawaiian shirt oh. in on Sunday. <laughs> and I can't tell you how revolting it was. It, it beat anything that I've got in my wardrobe. And that's really? not that's difficult, yeah. <laughs> so that's how the competition's come about. Go to the loft, mm. get somebody to take your picture or take it yourself, send it to us, put it into a competition and win. Dinner for six. So now you could enter in that yeah, dress. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. You could, so you why are you nominating win? me? I am, because of that dress. <laughs> or your mum's curtains. Come on, let's get on with What's it. What's the question? Kick him out, will you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's play today's Universally Challenged. Are you ready? Yes. Right, you're the lady. Meg, so you can go first. What's your buzzer going to be? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. <laughs> and your buzzer, Tom? Short. <laughs> Short and Mary Poppins. Okay, so you both know the rules. Well, you should. You invented yeah. the game. <laughs> Eyes down looking, no cheating. Buzzers first. Let's play today's Universally Challenged. He's nothing but a troublemaking... He's nothing but a stupid troublemaker. Sorry. I'll start again. He's nothing but a stupid troublemaker. He's nothing but a stupid troublemaker. <laughs> Answers, please. He's nothing but a stupid troublemaker. Look at me. I haven't got a clue. I'm trying to think. Do you see how it feels now? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rebel. No, I don't know. Got to put your buzzer up first. Hmm. <gasps> but Mary Poppins. Oh, I'm bad. Yes. What was that? <laughs> it was me and my fat fingers. Daft Punk. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. You're saying Daft Punk, yeah? Daft Punk. Can't be. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with the clue. <laughs> stupid, is. daft. You stupid, daft. That's Troublemaker, got, punk. Is nothing. He's nothing but a stupid troublemaker. Daft. Bunk. <laughs> you fixed this between Look the two of you, didn't you? I can't. I know you two fixed this. No, we didn't. I think you did. You brought him a cup of coffee out earlier on. I saw his lip. I saw your lipstick on his cheek. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, give me the answer, please. I want to beat Tommy. Says you right. See, see, you just won't coffee. have it because he didn't win. Right, you'll be see, on, do you know how it feels now? You'll be on, you'll be on your own tomorrow. <laughs> Well, as, as long yourself. as we don't have you here, then... <laughs> Maybe we'll get Tony in and there's Look, a wild shirt. Look, his steaming up. He's ex ex excited because he's working with you. <laughs> what yeah, did you promise him for this, uh, to win? What, what promises no, you? You made him. promises I... to get this job. Remember <laughs> oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> which you've never kept to. <laughs> So, well done to the midget she manages to win, the student beats the teacher. on Tommy next week. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, Daft Punk, did you get the clue now? I think it's a terrible clue. Really? Yeah. Oh, because you Just lost. Just because you lost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well done, Meglet. You are Thank today's you. winner on Universally Challenged. The student beats the teacher. Have you seen his face? I'm just amazed <laughs> at the clue. I know, I know, but yeah, I'm just amazed at the clue. Why? He's nothing like... but a trouble, uh, okay. but a stupid troublemaker. Yeah. You give us a clue. Uh, stupid person with earrings in all the wrong places. What keeps the planet spinning? Today we are down here at 
Patio Park. It's a great day out for the whole family. There's lots to see and do here. Starting off with the water park. It's a fantastic water park, especially for the kids. There's slides and everything. Then you can move on to the Patio Park Tower. You can go up there to the observation deck. You can see a beautiful 360 degree view of Patio Bay. You can also go up to the revolving restaurant. You can eat your dinner and the restaurant is actually revolving around so you get to see all the ama amazing views. There's lots more to see and do here, including the funny park. They have some exciting rides for the kids. It's just a brilliant place to come for a day out. So come on, let's check it out. Patia Park Tower and Water Park.
Ladies and gents are all welcome to check out the new and improved CK Jenny Salon, a full-service hair and beauty salon located at the Avenue Shopping Mall. Whether it be a massage, a facial, waxing, nails or hair services for both ladies and men, with over 12 years of experience, you can expect the very best from Jenny's team of talented professionals who will pamper your every need. CK Jenny Salon is the one-stop salon for all your beauty needs. They're now located on the ground floor of the Avenue Shopping Mall on Pattaya Second Road.